Hey guys, uh, this is Eric Daniels, aka Killhound, Eric, uh, aka Eric the Killhound, and uh, this is going to be an all-out uh, just list of all the Milsom uh, paintball markers that I would like to have, or that I think are the most badass you can get. Um, reason I'm kind of scatterbrained and going crazy at the moment, it's 5:45 in the morning. It's Halloween, and uh, there's two inches of snow on the ground outside. Northern Minnesota weather for you. Yeah. Okay. First, um, the BT TM15. Um, just awesome marker. Um, I've personally never shot it before. Um, I have seen many, many reviews on it. It, it is extremely accurate. Um, it's very quiet. I mean, it, it's as quiet as some uh, airsoft AEGs out there. Um, <laughs> It, it's it's just nuts um, now another gun that I would like to have from BT the TM7 um, almost all the same features as the uh, BT TM15 um, except for the silence factor um, it's built a little bit more like an Uzi uh, the TM15 is an AR15 slash 416 model um, those of you don't, that don't know the 416 model that's a new uh, H&K uh, model coming out that might possibly be uh, replacing the M16 for the military. Um, the Smart Parts SP8 have one um, awesome gun, uh, extremely quiet because it's electro pneumatic. Um, Smart Parts SP1 have one uh, awesome marker, uh, extremely quiet too because of being electro pneumatic. Has the anti siphon valve. So it, it's awesome to play around with the CO2 because you don't have to worry about getting liquid CO2 in your gun to blow up the internals. Um, Project Salvo don't yet have one. It's one of the new Tipman products. Um, looks like an awesome gun. It's an AR-15 slash 416 model again. Um, it, it's a Tipman, so it does have some uh, quite the pop to it occasionally. Um, the Titman Alpha Black, awesome M16 mod. You're looking for a good, reliable wood small marker that's already upgraded. You don't have to deal with turning it into an M16 for an immense amount of cash. Uh, get the Titman Alpha Black. Uh, gun itself is only 99 bucks, and the upgrade kit with the forearm uh, stock and the sling is only 40 bucks. So you're looking 140 dollars. And uh, basically a Titman 98, but it's already upgraded into an M16 with an 11 inch barrel. So, a really nice, accurate mirror finish barrel. Beautiful. Um, new thing that Titman just came out with just now, still, I don't think it's coming out until November, which you know is a couple days from now. But um, the X7 Phenom, awesome new, um, awesome new concept. Uh, you have an electro and a me uh, mechanical so you can be running electro out there run out of battery power and you're not out of the game you just flip over to uh, mechanical and be shooting it standard you know tipman style um, awesome new concept um, also I have an A5 right now uh, two of the most badass mods I've ever seen for it the uh, saw squad automatic weapon from Ops Gear and uh, the M107 Barrett from Opscure. Just wicked, okay? Some people are gonna say, you know, that's useless, whatever. Okay, when you walk onto the field with a gun that weighs like nine pounds, 12 pounds, you know, that actually looks like an actual, you know, military weapon. I mean, you got a M107 Barrett, you got an 18 inch fluid, fluid, fluted barrel, that's the barrel they sell for it. Um, with the sound suppressor that's almost as big as this little pocket hopper here on the end. You got a scope on that thing. You got the big clip coming out of it. Uh, you got the huge stock on the back. When you walk around with that thing, it, the dominance factor is nuts. Um, you got the saw. You got the huge magazine down here. Um, you got the big ghost ring sights. The uh, sight relief stock. I mean, it's just wicked. Um, 
the X7. I, I'd rather have the X7 Phenom, but I'd settle for an X7. Any of the mods. Uh, my favorite two being the Ump or uh, the uh, MP5 SD. Not the standard MP5. I like the MP5, but the MP5 SD is just awesome. Uh, it, it surpasses the MP5 on every level. Um, you know, at the moment, I can't think of that many more. Nilsa markers. Uh, forgot to mention the Bob Long MTAC. Um, that's really. I've never shot one of those, but it seems to be a very nice gun. Um, you know, it's like I said, it's it's 5:45 in the morning. I can't really think of any other Nilsa markers or anything like that. Um, oh, you know anything from angler I'd be awesome to have <laughs> I mean when they're taking actual you know 30 millimeter machine guns and turning them into a paintball gun it's nuts uh, they got the Halo 3 uh, battle rifle um, the A5 Thompson uh, the Sten they just made the new M1 um, they're making all their new, you know, long rifles because Tipman came out with the TPX. <laughs> I will do a video on all the pistols I would like. You know what? I'm just gonna add those in right here. Uh, the Tipman TPX or the Tiberius 8. Um, I have a Piranha uh, USP. Awesome little pistol to work around with. Um, really nice thing that I like about the uh, Tipman TPX and the Tiberius 8 is the ability to run. Uh, remote and can carry extra clips um, however I would I would rather I'd pick the TPX from what I've seen all the upgrades and everything they've had for it because they have you can put in the longer barrels um, the co2 is in a completely different chamber um, <laughs> your co2 doesn't puncture till the first time you shoot it I, I think I'd pick that over the Tiberius 8 any day um, but honestly, that's about it that I can think of. Um, if you guys have any comments on these or, you know, um, where I can get them, anybody that already has them, how you feel about them, uh, video responses, um, videos that you're shooting them, you know, whatever you feel like. Um, or, you know, if you don't like this video at all and think I'm an idiot because I only like Milsom gear, that's not true. Um, I... I like pretty much any paintball gun that has good functionality and you know, works. Um, however, there are different you know scenarios and everything that you have to have a gun for. Um, I that's that's it. Uh, that's all I can think of. Uh, leave your comments, questions, you know, whatever. Um, yeah.